Yo, what's going on guys, Select so True today, and this is my honest review on Type Souls. Wait, hold on. Um, I'm gonna get the devs right here, so if you guys wanna make money, drop the weapon reroll dev product, bro, or the weapon model reroll dev product, bro, because I'm trying to get my longsword to not look ugly. I, like, make it like 99 Robux, please. I just wanna change my model, that's all. I really, like, you can really make money like this, so please drop the dev product, bro. Now, as you can see by the title, and this is probably why you clicked on the video, um, I think Type Souls is a very interesting game, right? It's probably one of the worst, but the best Bleach games I've ever played. Now, after a couple days of just playing the game and just, you know, pretty much getting everything I can possibly get, I've come to the conclusion that Type Souls is really just the streets, but with Bleach. <laughs> But yeah, this game is actually so ridiculous, but I've had so much fun just playing the game, just pretty much just running around killing people for no apparent reason, other than to just, you know, show that you can kill them. It, it's just too much fun. Let's get into the reasons why I enjoy Type Souls myself. So unlike other Bleach games, I think Type Souls actually gets the ability spam aspect of Bleach, you know, down to a T. Right? Ability using in this game feels very satisfying. Everything about it just feels godly. Like you just you just feel amazing while you know it's specter stepping around somebody or just you know landing the split gate vertical down, all that type of stuff. But yeah, the game just feels really ability heavy and it makes it feel like a bleach game. But yeah, the combat just feels really good in a lot of aspects, but there's also some times where the combat just isn't all there. And that really comes down to the defensive portion of the combat. So you always feel amazing while, you know, playing aggressive, playing offensive on somebody. But the moment you are on the receiving end of things, it goes downhill, right? You don't feel good at all when you're trying to parry something because it just never happens. Some people are really bad at flash stepping, so you never be, you're never able to, you know, actually evade moves unless you're actually a full speed build. And there's a lot of moves that kind of like lock you in place and confirm other true combos now a lot of this comes down to you know certain Hakata builds and certain keto builds i think this is a general issue with the parry system they have in place because the parry timings are really bad really really bad and base flash step is also really bad now keep in mind this is all in the perspective of someone who has played soul reaper and nothing but soul reaper i've had other friends you know who have played you know quincy as well as a car who also feel very different about their builds now some people may believe that a car is the weakest thing in the game but at the end of the day, nah, <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but yeah, Type Souls is definitely one of the best gang RP games I've ever played. That's what it is, it's a gang RP, but for Bleach, I guess, I don't know. Let's get into the things I dislike about the game. Now, there's actually quite a lot of things I do not like about this game. And it's, it's kind of scary, right? Because at the end of the day, this is what determines if this game is going to succeed and here to stay or if it's going to flop the next month, right? So first off, progression. Progression in this game is time gated. You got me playing Clash of Clans, my boy. Why am I playing Clash? Why do I have to wait 12 hours to just suddenly go up a grade even though I've been, you know, stacking XP for the past two? It, it makes no sense. It's just so dumb. Why, why is it time gated? You're only discouraging casual players from playing your game. And you're also indirectly discouraging hardcore players because now they have to wait behind a time gate to actually progress like you still got the CC mindset for a public game it doesn't make much sense next thing uh the game is pretty brain dead when it comes to progression right you're just, just running around killing hollows and that, that that's about it and now the few interactions where you're running around and killing players instead I, I guess that's cool but you could just do that on deep Woken. like bro technically speaking deep Woken has everything this game does has but better and if deep Woken were to add something like the raid system what, what what do you have to separate yourself to call yourself unique you know what i mean besides being a bleach game it's kind of it's kind of worrying but yeah type souls i feel like is in a weird situation where it's going to have to evolve because right now in its current state it doesn't have much going for it in any general department other than the ability spam op pvp and once that's over what do you have man a uh, unbalanced broken game with not many players and uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. End game content, right? So Bonkai and skill boxes and Vizard. First off, let's go over Bonkai. Bonkai is honestly one of the most ridiculous time sinks there is, bro. I swear to God. Just you killing an alt or two players you find random just for you to kill your, or not even kill, attempt to kill your Bonkai NPC while you get thrashed around for, I don't know, for 20 plus to a, 
300 plus attempts. It, that's ridiculous. That That is actually ridiculous. It has got to be one of the hardest things I've ever done in any type of game. And I've played like Souls-like games, so I know what it is decent difficulty, but no, the Bankai fight is ridiculous. Like it is by far the worst designed gated progression ever like the npc is terrible it is actually just terrible it's hard for the sake of being hard it's not hard for the sake of being fun and difficult let's get on the skill boxes skill boxes are you know skills slottable skills pretty much that drop off raids and they have a very small percent chance to actually be dropped off a raid that you have won skill boxes in general very cool idea i like this idea it's very fun and nice to have as you know you could always add new skill boxes to raids and people will come back and try to farm them to get those skills one problem though is that these skill boxes have a very rare drop chance and raids can often last up to 10 to 20 minutes right so and they also happen every 40 minutes of each server so just put that into perspective you spend 10 to 20 minutes doing a raid and it happens to you know have a chance to happen in one every 40 minutes that is a lot of time you're going to spend doing raids to even get one skill box so you're better off just trading and praying to god someone else has one that they don't want to have and just give it to you like it's pretty bad at least when it comes to the single player aspect if you're playing with friends and you're you know trying to interact with the community to encourage trading it's not so bad but still pretty bad last but not least visored now i'm sorry if you are a casual player or if you are a normal player you're never getting visor get it out of your goddamn head all right you're never getting it ever so you might as well just give all your hogo frags to me all right you just give them all to me because you're never getting it jokes aside though um visored is very difficult um not because it's hard to do well it is kind of hard to do but because for you to acquire 10 hogoku fragments yeah for the casual player it's not happening you either have to be insanely well versed in trading or you have to be boosted by an individual known as the type soul illuminati pretty much uh, writes off at least 99 percent of the active player base so you're stuck with the one percent here you know having it all them being greedy and not giving what you guys should have so if you want my help give me your hogo frags again i'm 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 kidding no not really we we i'm, I'm really begging for hogo frags so it, low key if you, you know my dms are open so if you want to give me a hogo frag just let me know but yeah at the end of the day it, it really just comes down to um very rare item very hard to get and a you know event that rarely happens to begin with so it just leaves us with like you know pretty much casual randoms will never get this thing ever in their you know life in this game at least i mean that's pretty much all i had to discuss about when it comes to type souls uh if you guys enjoyed this type of video be sure to like and subscribe i'm tapping into the type souls community so um if you are coming from here then uh yeah just sub sub please i'm, I'm coming back from hiatus so please sub that's pretty much all for today um peace out i love you guys and have a nice one Good luck guys on the Bankai fight or whatever, belt standing or uh, res.